Hey Scorpio, welcome to your reading. It is Empress Sneak and thank you so, so much for clicking on to our video. Welcome my new family. Thank you for your love and your support. How are you Scorpio? I hope you're doing good. Sending you a multitude of love, 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 light and positive energy. Let's get into your reading Scorpio. Spirit, thank you so, so much for bringing me here with Scorpio, King and Queen of Cups. Thank you so much for all you do in the divine realm, seen and unseen blessings you bestow upon us. And thank you for keeping us all out of the harm's way, out of harm's way. Thank you so much for binding and blocking any witchcraft or spiritual wickedness that may be coming up against your will for our lives. Giving us messages of spirit, truth, and love. Scorpio, look what popped out here. Somebody sending somebody some flowers with your sweet, kind self, Okay. <laughs> compliments from an admirer could be coming into you or you could be giving this all right so you could be getting some flowers or giving somebody some flowers somebody is into you boo or you're into them let's see what's going on here for scorpio spirit show me clear messages okay it's getting excited already i know i can count on you affairs with your family so you're trying to balance things scorpio i feel like maybe you're thinking about giving um, somebody a gift but I feel like somebody is giving you some compliments and letting you know how charming and kind and loving you are with these flowers here giving you your flowers while you're alive <laughs> Scorpio spirit is telling you to beware of great greed all right temper yourself temperance is what I'm feeling then we got fox here shrewdness resourcefulness especially in business so i feel like you are not playing any games when it comes to your success and you don't care what you have to do you're going to learn and you're going to get it okay i'm here and i get it i get it i get it okay i know that's right scorpio all right we could be dealing with a younger man here this could be you all right or dealings with a relationship with a younger man all right for some of you and this person could be expressing their interest for my queen of cups out there so let's see what else is going on for my Scorpio spirit. What can I help them with? How can we enlighten them on their path? What don't they see? Oh, this flew out. You don't see that you feel something. Oh, you feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. So I feel like this is something that you may not be paying attention to. You're trying to ignore this and stay optimistic. You're trying to keep your spirits up. Um, and spirit wants you to know to control your anger or you will be angry. I mean, control your anger or you'll be sorry. Okay. And then we got bridge successfully overcoming a problem. All right. So if you control your anger, your, your anger, you'll successfully overcome this problem and it could be family matters. Um, but you have, um, you have a promising beginning, um, a promising outcome here if you're able to control yourself so don't let those waters get too out of control just balance all right we don't want to get we don't want to hurt nobody we don't want you to get mad we already know we already know who child don't let you get mad scorpio all right let's see let's see what else is here so let's find out why this energy is here this younger man somebody showing you um gratitude or letting you know that they admire you all right and then successfully overcoming problems if you're able to stay balanced and not get too upset. Let's see here what's going on. What's testing the waters here for you, Scorpio? Let's see. Holy Spirit, <laughs> divine spirit, holy angels, ancestors, and God. Show me clear messages for Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio? A uh, Virgo may be significant to some of you. For Scorpio, show me clear messages. Hold on one second, guys. For Scorpio, let's see, Scorpio. What do we have here for you? For Scorpio. Okay. So we have release and surrender, purge. So I feel like um, something could have you all in your emotions. I feel like you are in the process of, of releasing some emotional baggage, things that don't really serve you any longer. Some of you could be letting go of the past. Um, somebody could be surrendering, um, surrendering your feelings, opening up, expressing your feelings to someone so you're able to release. All right. I feel like it's something somebody's making you want to be, um, open emotionally you know you want to express yourself this person this particular person here you're not using any control tactics you really want to give this a fair chance you want to try to be open and honest here so i feel like you're thinking about expressing yourself to someone that you're very attracted to and i feel like 
Let's see. Um, for some of you, it could be a situation where you're you were arguing. It was some type of conflict, some type of um, some type of issue. Um, and spirit is telling you if you just control your anger and don't don't use anger as a control tactic, just relax. All right. Um, be able to release how you feel. Um, it'll work out for you. So this is your advice. Just stay cool. Be open, express yourself, you know, and this is going to build the attraction even more between you and this person that you're thinking about. I feel like some of you remember, you know, are thinking about something, having an awakening and you remember something. I feel like there was a situation, somebody in your life and you remember this person. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Um, some type of seeds you could be planning on planting in the spring, some type of seeds of being open and honest, opening up, maybe, expressing your attraction and fondness for someone, you know, um, and remembering, maybe remembering the attraction that used to be there and the emotion that you and someone shared. And renewal is here, spark. So a renewed spark is um, happening, it's going to happen for some of you, possibly in the springtime once you make this move, all right? I see that, okay? So let's see what else is here for you. This could be your twin flame that you're thinking about so heavy. Somebody that changed your life in a major way. All right. Somebody that had a huge impact on your life in a positive way that added to you as a person. Um, and you're having memories as you mature, as you go through your life and challenges and different um, I, um, and even different good times. You think about this person. Yeah, you have memories about them. I feel like some of you. Um, feel like you, you know, you did something that you weren't proud of in this situation with this person. And you would like to release um, this emotional baggage of guilt or feeling bad about what happened in that situation. Um, I see a leap of faith here at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. So you could definitely be thinking about taking a leap of faith towards somebody. Let's see what the tarot wants to tell you about this particular situation. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, and Angel, clarify these messages for Scorpio, please, and let Scorpio know exactly how they can move forward and what they need to know about these energies on the board. Show us clear messages, please. Release is here. Show me release for Scorpio. All right. So, there could be a King of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that you are thinking about releasing or either you want to let them know how you feel. Surrender your, um, to your emotions. You want to let this person know how you feel and open up to them. Control tactics in the reverse. What happened here? What happened here? Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, we're talking about somebody stable, somebody secure, um, somebody reliable, dependable, very honest, balanced, emotionally um, fulfilling and um, true. All right, judgment is here. So I feel like you're making a judgment on this situation, or this person made a judgment on you during the springtime, whatever year. It could have been this spring for some of you. It was just in the springtime. It wasn't this spring. It was a while ago with these memories here. Some of you, it was six years ago. Um, but let's see. With these seeds planted in the spring, what happened? Wow, this person decided to be guarded from you for good. They stood their ground. I feel like you could have been deciding to stand your ground with somebody or you could have been deciding to stand your ground with somebody who you felt like was manipulating you. Hmm. Matter of fact, I feel like for some of you, you decided to not even, not even stand your... I feel like you... you you are deciding or you want to decide to stay in your ground. Some of you are standing your ground because this person was a manipulator. They overdid their control and manipulation. Or for some of you, it could have been you doing that to them, Scorpio, because you just weren't sure about what you wanted. But you knew for sure you didn't want to let them go. Okay? So it could be either way. All right? It's no judgment here. I'm just reading you the energy so you can know what to do so you can be happy on your path. Okay? <laughs> so... With the spring and seeds planted in the spring, I feel like this is something that you may be intending on doing, being open with this person, honest with this person, um, calling a judgment on the situation. Um, judgment is here. Your angels are reviewing this. You want a judgment call on this situation. You want another chance, I feel. 
I feel like you've been manifesting this. This could be a Virgo for some of you, but Seven of Wands, this Virgo could be defensive towards you and you want to defend this connection now. I feel like you want justice in this situation with this Virgo who is standing their ground. Whatever you did to this person, honey, they're like, uh-uh, back up, back up. They, they, it's like they, some of them feel like you didn't defend them and stand up for this relationship when you had a chance, judgment. And for you, you want to show them that um, you will stand up. You want to manifest this situation back and have justice. All right, show me more. Show me the magician. What do you want to manifest? What's this manifestor doing? What is this? Show me. Oh, wow. Yeah, so what happened in the springtime, whenever it happened, this person manifested not moving forward with you no longer moving forward with you and everything came to a screeching halt wow and you want to um you want justice in this situation i feel like you want a renewed spark show me renewed spark for scorpio yeah you want a reconciliation with this person show me attraction please attraction there's crazy attraction and chemistry between you and this person i feel like now you're no longer stuck i feel like this person is no longer stuck either Feel like you're even more attracted now that this person is free spiritually elevated doing well for themselves getting money instead of losing money and seeking they found they're elevated they're doing it i feel like they're doing really well for themselves but they're still very grounded now they're grounded okay stable and secure and emotional also this person is intuitive with the hangman energy okay mm. yeah i feel like there's <laughs> five of wands energy here i feel like there's some type of conflict that you remember that was happening show me one more on this attraction please show me attraction secrets i feel like not even secrets i feel like this person is mysterious there's a mystery about this person also, I feel like this person is keeping it a secret how abundant they are and how well they're doing. I feel like also with the moon energy, you're seeking things that you don't know. I feel like you don't know how this happened for this person and how their life changed. I also feel like you don't know where they are. Maybe you don't know where they're located. You remember all the conflicts and arguments you guys used to have, though, over religion and spirituality or tradition, marriage, all right? So you remember that. It was conflict here. I feel like, and when you were mentally conflicted, this person gave you faith. This person gave you hope. Yeah. Or there was conflict, or you're conflicted because you married a cancer that became your child's mother. Or this could be a cancer that you're interested in. Cancer, this could be you watching, and the energies could be reversed. I feel like not even, even if it wasn't marriage, I feel like you juggled this person in went into a relationship with the cancer um and you felt really good about it but how do you feel about it now because now you're in regret about your decision now you want to reconcile with this person i feel like you want to get back together with this person why show me three of cups why does Scorpio want this person back oh wow because you feel like this is your soulmate I feel I never had a love like this before. <laughs> oh, you want this person back, honey? You like, uh, uh. You want to? You feel like you want to transform the relationship with memories? I looked at memories and death flew out. Memories, nostalgia of the ending. So you've been thinking about how things ended, not feeling really good about your choices now. You feel like you made the right decision then. Because you were following your heart, you thought. Right? I feel that. Justice. Show me justice, spirit. Justice. You do not want this person to be single. I feel like some of you know this person is single or you're single. And you don't want to be single. You want justice with this person. I feel like um, with the nine of pentacles, you don't feel stable and secure um, being without them. For some of you, you want them back. Like, you feel like you just want them back. Yeah, and you're passionate about it too. You could feel like you're wondering, you 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 you're wondering if this person is single, or you feel like um what you did was justified because you feel like this person was cheating. 
Maybe you feel like this person was cheating or no. I feel like you're very passionate towards this person for some of you. Or for some of you, you're not single, um, but you want this person. You feel like you deserve this person. Wow, this is a deep reading, honey. I was trying to do 10 minutes. Look, twin flames. You still are passionate about them. You still think about them. You still have love for this twin flame energy. Show me more, Knight of Cups. This person makes you weak. I feel like without this person, and this could be a Virgo again. We got Virgo and Leo here, but I feel like without this person, this person tamed you. I feel like this person kept you grounded and calm. This person helped you have a steady routine. You do it on your own too. Very passionate about this person. You want a, a new start. A new start. I feel like you want a new start, love, and passion. This person understands you. Look at this. Y'all see eye to eye. I feel like you guys compliment each other. You understand each other on a different level. Wow. Hmm. This person could be holding back from you also because you had them in a third-party situation. Yeah. Yep. I feel like when you had this person, I feel like this person could have betrayed you and cheated. And also, I feel like that you had this person and you betrayed them because you felt trapped or you kept them trapped, but you really weren't investing. And that is so bad, messed up. But that's why they feel like that, Scorpio. I'm on the side of right, okay? I'm not, look, I don't choose sides, honey. I read for everybody. But the thing is, here, I'm all about helping you heal. So here, um, this explains why this person is not investing in this situation and why this person is so guarded. Spirit, what is Scorpio's advice and how, they, how should they move forward in this situation? How should Scorpio move forward in this situation, Spirit? saying in this particular situation i feel like this person is intuitive and they can see when there's going to be a burden so in this particular situation um i'm feeling like spirit is telling you that there's some things that you have to work on within yourself with this ten of wands energy i feel like spirit is saying in order to put down these burdens you have to come out of the mental conflict that you're experiencing um, and something probably having to do with a mother figure that is in the reverse. This person is manipulative and doing some type of magic or witchcraft. This is a mother. This person is keeping you stuck and trapped. This person is, this is demonic. Look at this. These came out. So that's what we're dealing with here, Scorpio. Hold on one second. Yeah, so Spirit is saying that there's some things that you need to look into regarding this situation with this person. And then also you can have a Queen of Wands here. Um, a person, the person that you were dealing with on the side, somebody that you may have been dealing with on the side, or either this is you here, fiery, passionate, a go-getter and balance. But at the same time, um, I feel like you are, this person, Spirit is telling you to pay attention um, because this person, I feel like you, you could be burdened by a person that is on the side or something. There are some blockages in the way. You have this toxic mother figure that's trying to stop you and this person from being together or you, yeah, this person is doing witchcraft. Okay. To keep you stuck. And then also, and look, spirit is saying, pay attention to this other Queen of Wands energy or people that aren't or on the side or somebody that's trying to make you burden. I feel like all of these cards came out. So I feel like this mother figure is toxic. Somebody's doing witchcraft to keep you stuck. Like that is crazy. Ugh. All right, Scorpio. <laughs> let me go ahead and let you go, lovey. So I'm going to burn some, some holy wood because this is some toxic energy here. But yes, I feel like this person does not want to see you move forward. Um, it just looks like this person doesn't want you to move forward at all. Um, and then you also have this energy 
could be a king or queen of wands on the sideline, somebody that you are dealing with that just won't let you go. All right, and they're causing all kind of burdens for you, Ten of Wands, right? So be careful, Scorpio. I definitely would say balance and protect your energy um, and look into this um, because this is definitely going on and I feel like you're not aware of that because we had the hermit like shining the light on the fact that this is happening. So Spirit was like, tell Scorpio this, okay? So look into that, loves. I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And if you would like a personal reading, I do do personal readings. All my information is down below in the description box. My email address is closer, the number two, my destiny, the number one, at gmail.com. Thanks, Scorpio. I'm sending you my love and light. Bye.